Hello everyone, today at your request I review the Tamron 17-70mm f2.8 on the demanding 40MP sensor of the Fujifilm X-T5. I already reviewed this lens on the Fujifilm X-H2S and said it is the best all-around lens for photography and video on the Fujifilm system. But can this lens impress again on the 40MP sensor? For those of you new to the channel, my name is Andre Dima and I'm a professional travel photographer and videomaker and today I will review the Tamron 17-70mm on the Fujifilm X-T5. I'll go quickly through the build quality for those of you who are watching a review of this lens for the first time. I used Tamron lenses for my work for many years on my Nikon D850 and my best photos were taken with the Tamron lenses. I traveled a lot and put them through different conditions, even dropping one from about 1.5 meters and it still worked perfectly, just the lens would broke and regarding the weather sealing on the Tamron lenses, it's great, never had dust or any other problems and I took photos in the rain, in dusty and humid conditions. And the Tamron 17-70mm is weather sealed so that is a plus for me, well for everybody. The lens has a nice smooth finish, the focus ring is a bit loose for my taste but not bad, the zoom ring is great, nicely dampened and smooth when used, the mount is metal and it has a rubber gasket, part of the weather sealing, the lens wood is made from a really nice plastic and the cap goes well into place. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get to the cool stuff. Let's start with autofocus. I don't use cameras for sport, but I use tracking for street photography sometimes because it is easier and faster to recompose when you photograph people and I never had a missed focus or a false positive. The 17-70mm works very well with the xt 5s focus system. Now when it comes to video the performance is also good as on the X-H2S but I think the X-H2S is a bit better with this lens than the X-T5. Not much, just a bit. It doesn't mean the autofocus is bad, no it's really good. I think this may be the best autofocusing zoom lens on the Fujifilm system. You can see in these clips that it performs well even in low light conditions. You also get gorgeous results with this lens when you shoot 4K HQ, 6.2K or in F-Log2, as you can see in these clips here. Now let's talk about the image quality and the 40 megapixels of the X-T5. Many people are afraid their lenses won't get a boost from the resolution or can't handle the resolution. Well, all lenses will get a boost when it comes to resolution. Some will get more than others because some of them will resolve 30 megapixels, some of them 38 and so on. So does this lens. Depending on the aperture and focal, the results are going to be different. Like on all zooms, the good news is that this lens is still great on the Fujifilm X-T5 as it was on the Fujifilm X-H2S when I reviewed it the first time and combined with great image stabilization you can get some amazing results. One thing I want to add before we get more into image quality and that is how it feels on the X-T5. The lens looks great and handles great on the X-H2S but I thought it was going to look weird and it is going to be unbalanced on a camera like the Fujifilm X-T5 but actually it doesn't look that bad if that is a thing you worry about. The smooth black finish goes very well with the X-T5. Yes, it's not like a Prime or a Fuji Zoom, but it's not bad and the handling is also good because of the new improved grip of the X-T5. 
I enjoyed using this combo more than I was expecting. The Tamron lens is not very heavy for a zoom and it balances decently on the X-T5. Now let's talk more about the image quality and show you some impressive results in my opinion. So you're going to get the best results at all focals between f4 and f5.6. Like most zooms, the sweet spot is f5.6, but at some focals like 65mm, f4 looks very good. Don't think this lens is bad at f2.8, it's not, but you will get a bit more sharpness if you stop down. But as you can see, in these examples, f2.8 is plenty sharp for everything. So the answer to the question, is the Tamron 17-70mm f2.8 good on the Fujifilm X-T5 or X-H2? Yes it is. This is a very versatile lens, it has a bright aperture f2.8 from 17 to 70mm. That is a very nice reach. All this helped by optical stabilization, which is very good on Tamron lenses, and of course the overall image quality. I found the sweet spot of this lens to be 35mm. From f2.8 to f10, this lens performs great at 35mm. The only place where this lens is a bit soft is at 70mm and f2.8, but still sharp, stopping the lens down to f4 makes it great again. Overall the Tamron 17-70mm f2.8 is one of the best all around zooms for the Fujifilmic system, for video and photography. I am glad that Fuji shared their mount with third party manufacturers because this Tamron lens is going to be my go to lens until Fuji update their zoom lineup. The build quality is great, it is weather sealed, it has a great reach from 17 to 70 mm at a bright aperture, it can handle beautifully 40 megapixels and the video autofocus is one of the best you can find on the Fujifilm system right now, so I highly recommend this lens for anybody that needs a good zoom. If you want more details on the build quality, optical structure, minimum focus distance and want to see more examples, check out my review of this lens on the Fujifilm X-H2S. I hope this video was helpful, if it was, like and subscribe. This helps me grow the channel and make more videos for you to watch. And if you want to support me even more, check out my presets pack or use the links in the description. See you soon!